the movement of chromosomes during mitosis involve a dynamic microtubule that in fact involve assembly and disassembly cycle. So let's take a look at the dynamic mitotic spindle. You should recall that the spindle apparatus is made up largely of microtubules. In this cartoon you will see that there are microtubules that extend from the centrioles of this animal cell towards the metaphase plate. You remember that's the uh, place around the equator of the cell where chromosomes line up just before the duplicated chromosomes are pulled apart. And the blue and black and pink structures are these paired chromatids. And we're going to pull those chromatids apart to opposite poles of the cell where we will now call them chromosome. So there are two kinds of microtubules in this structure. There are microtubules that are attached to the centromeres via proteins that assemble at the centromeres called a kinetochore. The kinetochore is where the microtubules attach to the centromeres of chromosomes. There are also microtubules that don't attach to chromosomes or chromosomal material, but instead attach to each other. So we refer to the polar microtubules as those which are extending from the poles of the cell towards each other and do not contact chromosomes, but rather contact each other. They have dynein arms or dynein motors. Those motors will function to push microtubules apart, which will cause the poles of the cell to separate, in effect causing what is otherwise a round cell to become stretched and ovoid and then eventually, of course, to separate entirely. The kinetochore microtubules are those which are attached to a kinetochore at the centromere of uh, chromosomes. The plus end of microtubules in a mitotic spindle are at the kinetochore. That means that's the site of spindle microtubule assembly, right? Because that's where the alpha, beta, tubulin heterodimers are going to add. So that means the opposite end at the centriole is the site of disassembly. And the disassembly of the microtubules at the minus end, at the centriolar end, pulls or chromatids apart and then eventually pulls the chromosomes to opposite ends of the cell. Now we know that there is force being generated on the chromatids, which is going first of all to separate the chromatids and then eventually pull the chromatids to opposite sides of the cell. This was a very dramatic and very clever experiment. We have a device, a micro laser beam, that is capable of being aimed at a single mitotic spindle fiber, which is really a bundle of microtubules, in this fashion. Let's go back again. We aim it. And what we're going to do is sever the bundle. We're going to break the microtubule bundle one more time. And after the microtubule is severed, you can no longer exert force equally on both chromatids. So instead, the entire chromosome with its two chromatids is drawn to the left side of this dividing cell. One more time. And I want to show you that as that's happening, the alpha, beta, heterodimers, wrong color here, they're going to be the GDP bound ones, are actually coming apart. So the take home message here is that microtubule disassembly at the minus end is what powers the movement of the chromosomes from the metaphase plate during anaphase and eventually telophase to that left and then right pole of the cell. So dynein motors separate the polar microtubules at the same time as microtubule disassembly occurs at the minus end.